Hey guys, we're finally actually doing the BMR drag kit on the back of our 5th gen. So, uh, I'll show you first what we're going to do real quick. We're going to do our two bars. Um, we're going to do our coilover conversion with new plates, springs, and then we're going to do the drag bar in the back. So, on here, we're going to re be replacing this rear sway bar with the actual drag bar we're gonna take this whole assembly out and replace that and replace them so um, let's get right to it there we go. There we go look at that so got the trailing arm out and these are just little I mean it's thick steel, but when you start cutting some good 60 foot, I mean these things are gonna these things are gonna bend. So this was there. I just like to keep everything together. That was there, and this goes on here. Cool. So we got that out. got these two bolts out uh, get the end links off of the sway bar we could pull this down so then that can come out like a little cup up there nice look at that junk get rid of that junk I'll get this one out <laughs> Look at that, coming right out. Here we gotta um, assemble the rear coilovers. So I just did some uh, anti seize on the threads because um, when you're adjusting them, you don't want them to bind up at all. So throw a nice amount of anti seize on there. Slip this on. Slip that piece back on. That. Flip it. And then spin these down. I'll just leave that like that for now. So there you go, that's together. 
And we'll do the same thing on that one. Get the. Alright guys, um, um, you might see that everything's done, um, just have a quick explanation for that. We ran into a couple issues uh, putting everything in and uh, we were running out of daylight so we really much had to hurry up and, and get everything installed. Um, ran into a couple problems, I'll start with that and then I'm, I'm going to run through just the rest of the install. and. It'll be, it'll be easy, just as easy as if I showed you how to put it in, um, because it's not, it's not bad at all. It's really not bad. First, let me start with the issues that we had. Um, first thing is we had issue actually finding some of the hardware. Um, this hardware was fine that they gave you. It was like a half inch bolts, which was great, but the bottoms, uh, they, they didn't send enough spacers, so like there was slack in between here, and uh, I d I really didn't like how that was sitting, and the bolts that they give you, there was slack inside here too, um, so I think eventually I'm gonna change that out, but it we we pretty much were like trying to find something that would work, and you know they they just didn't send the right bolts and spacers. Uh, to hook your drag bar up with your adjustable end links um, So I really didn't like that uh, The other thing I didn't like the other issue that we ran into was um, Right under here This turn knob is held on actually slides onto a shaft that shaft um, Opens and closes and adjusts the valves now the only thing that holds this knob on is this little tiny uh, Allen key now as you notice there's no clicking well this thing fell off because there was no quality control they didn't tighten this up this came off now there's a little ball and then there's a spring that sits up in here behind this and th those flew out so then everything hit the ground so we were trying to get it back in but it just <sighs> We were trying to get it in this way because everything was already in the car and like literally like trying to just like I was just like trying to back these off to zero and the thing popped off so like between this hardware between this happening like we were running out of light and it was getting pretty dark so I wanted to kind of like wrap everything up so I could get home. Um, but basically all I did was I put this on, I tightened it, and one, two, three, four. That's all the way tight. So basically I have to <laughs> count myself and there's nine settings. So that would be two, four, six, eight. So it's close. Um, I am going to try to get a hold of them because I really don't like how they didn't check their uh, product. I really don't like that. The last thing that I didn't like about the kit um, was they don't send you a wrench. I never got a wrench. The other thing that slowed us down was this. They didn't send a wrench. How do you not send a wrench? Um, so luckily, my buddy had one. We found it in his garage and we were able to make this work and adjust the height. Um, so now, let me just run through the rest of the stuff for you um, to pretty much just show you the rest of the procedure. The last thing I showed you guys was actually sliding the spring onto the body of the shock and building this. Um, fairly simple, you just want to, uh, you know, make sure everything's good and um, one thing you definitely need to do is put anti-seize on these threads. Do not run these things dry. This is going to bind up into that aluminum and you're going to ruin it. So plenty anti-seize, even on these, because this is metal on, on, on metal. And when you rotate this, it's going to be wanting to dig into, into your spring. So I would put anti-seize there. I mean, anywhere to really keep to keep that lubricated up so basically after we got this installed after we got this built it was time to put your your coilover bracket on and this just goes right in the same spot as when you pull the whole unit out 
use the same old bolts. They want you to reuse your bolts. And then you just slide this bolt through. It's the long bolt that slides through. Nylon nut. And then you tight torque these to 43. And I think this is close to that. Might also be 43 for the top. So then now you'll have this and your shock hanging down that way. Okay. Um, we put the drag bar in. There is these two on each one. You're going to put you know your, your bushing and everything in your mount and you're going to mount that right up super easy those are 15 foot pounds okay so then you um throw some grease in there kind of let it pop out the seals nice and greased up and then you let it sit pretty much level that's how it's going to sit um make sure this is up so when you swing when you put your lever control arm up this isn't behind it you got to make sure this is on top little things um now this uh when you put the end links in um i just again set this so it's four inches from thread to thread uh so i just reset these adjustable ones to that and we went to the softest sway bar setting which is up front this is your softest and then if you want harder you go here um, we just did soft for now. I just want to see how the car reacts, uh, the way it sits. The cool thing is you can always just make adjustments, you know, as you go. Um, so they make it nice and easy to, you know, to access everything. Um, so then after that, we actually took our lever control arm and we installed that. We started here. We just let it hang. Now. You just put these all in loose. You swing it up, you put all these in loose, put this bolt back in, that is your original bolt. Um, this is supplied hardware. And then that was also supplied. And the last thing that you have to do on the car is put your trailing arm in. And again, you're gonna reuse your old bolts and they're adjustable and when you go to set these just adjust these this length to the stock length that'll get you really close um so it shouldn't be too much adjustment when you go get your alignment um, which you'll definitely need alignment bmr actually sends you drag specs to get alignment and uh which i think is awesome so you can actually set your suspension up at alignment shop and it'll actually be set up for drag racing after that everything was in everything was in the car and it was actually really much easier than i thought it was going to be so now what we did was we put we put the tires back on we lowered the car with like two blocks so we could you want to load the suspension up to torque these so you got to put it back on the ground hopefully with like some kind of blocks or something um or ramps put it back on ramps so then you could slide under now you can always double check but i believe it was 80 foot pounds for you this one 125 for the lower shock mount uh this i believe was also 15 because it is a much skinnier bolt and then this was 95 so when the car is low on the ground your wheels back on and everything gonna go under there you're gonna torque your lower control arm then you're gonna grease grease it there and then you're pretty much good to go um, um, the other thing I want to talk about is where to set your uh, where to set your coilovers for height because they try to give you um a roundabout where to set these uh, as far as you know on your threads and everything because you're not going to know where to set it to get the same height that you were before um which you know you, so they say run run this top one up to where the spring hits it and then go another inch <laughs> well i did that and it was like monster truck height i probably had like 
it was ridiculous. I probably had like 10 inch gap, a 10 inch wheel gap. Like it was absolutely insane. Um, so that was not <laughs> correct. Um, they do have like, you know, dimensions on the sheet that they give you, but it just doesn't really make much sense. Um, you know, so pretty much like, I'm gonna give you just a rough idea where you wanna be. You could set these. Um, so if you do do them, you'll have a good idea. Um, right now, bottom of this to the bottom of the threads, the very bottom of your threads here, you're at one inch and one and three eighths of an inch. And that's actually still too high. I would actually go another quarter inch. So I would probably go an inch and an eighth would be pretty close to factory height. So that would be a good starter. Um, so just so you could put everything back together and then have it not sitting like a monster truck. That is the remaining procedure that I wanted to run through. Um, I do apologize that I didn't get to do a full video, um, but at least I'm able to kind of like run through it. And if you're wanting to do this suspension, it will, you know, make it much easier to kind of give you a good idea. Uh, BMR sends like PDFs now for install. Um, sometimes, you know, I had some questions and everything and it just makes it easier if you can like read the PDF, watch a video and then like fully understand what you're doing. That's pretty much it. Um, I hope this helped. And the next step is to go get alignment and then we can actually start testing at the track. So I'm gonna drop this car a little bit more because it's still a little high while the car is still apart. Actually, while the car, while I have the tires off. And uh, I'm gonna pretty much just start on everything on the softest setting. Um, maybe go to the medium setting um, because I know it's definitely gonna need, you know, definitely gonna need some stiffness to, to launch. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, any other questions, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. And I appreciate everybody's support. Hopefully this helps and we'll catch you guys later.